I'm not sure that any jail or prison sentence is going to resolve the issue of payment to victims. However, um, this sentence, I believe, will go a long way to um, making the victims who uh, did have money taken uh, satisfied that some um, punishment has been uh, doled out uh, appropriate to the level of crime. That's right. Um, oftentimes, people who owe uh, a great deal of restitution who go to prison, when they're released, um, don't pay restitution. The court can bring them back in and ask them to address the restitution. Uh, but if they fail or refuse to do that, there's no uh, penal sanction that can be imposed. So having at least some period of incarceration that's remaining in the event that Mr. Tomaszewski has the ability to pay restitution but doesn't, which is the um, threshold question, um, then the court can impose a sanction uh, if they find that it's a willful failure not to pay restitution. Uh, satisfied uh, on behalf of the victims, I think uh, some of them are, are going to be very uh, happy that uh, justice has been served uh, in a way that can be served. Obviously, these people uh, have been uh, uh, deprived of uh, funds that uh, they, they entrusted to him for a very important purpose. So uh, it's still going to be uh, somewhat disappointing uh, to those individuals that they won't be able to, uh, uh, or they lost the money that they had uh, uh, given him for pre-planned services. And, and so in that regard, you can never be made whole. But I think the prison term does go a long way to uh, healing the uh, hurt that they have experienced because of his actions. Of course, as the judge indicated, I think it sends a message that um, you know, you can't put your needs above those of the people who trust you and that if uh, you do so, even if it's for a reason that you can justify to yourself, uh, that there are going to be consequences and there could be severe consequences. That is a very long time and, and uh, had the issue, I, I believe this came to light once uh, the remains of the veteran were found. Uh, that caused the uh, police to look into the financial records, which uncovered this. It could have gone on for a lot longer had that not happened, because as the judge pointed out, he was providing the services. He would, as each uh, individual uh, passed, he would uh, essentially rob Peter to pay Paul. He would take money that other people had entrusted him and use it to uh, provide the services to avoid uh, being uh, found out. Well, I agree with the judge 100 percent, and that's the, 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 the most egregious part of this is the ongoing nature, the fact that, as the judge pointed out, this was not a, a one-time or a short-lived period of time where you're in a tough spot and you take money you know you shouldn't take and you pay it back. This was an ongoing, I'm going to do this today, I'm going to do it tomorrow, and uh, without apparent uh, any regret.